Yo guys, what is up? This is Tom from Unreal Madden. Welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to show you how to create realistic ice in Unreal Engine. So let's start. So first I got this ice texture. As you can see, this is just a silver texture and it looks a little bit like paint or something. Not really like ice or some metal kind. And just get a texture like this. Then you will need a displacement texture if you want to do displacement, but I'm going not to do this in this tutorial. And then you will need a normal map. I will use a normal map with like cracks and stone. And yeah, just create a new material and let's call this ice underscore mat. And let's go into that and grab our textures. Let's make this window big and we will start by plugging in our ice base color. The next thing we want to do is get an add node and then a texture coordinate node. So from here you can change the U and V tiling if you want this ice texture to be bigger or smaller. And then we add a multiply node to the setup and we get a divide node and plug this into the B value. And now we divide with binary numbers. So one divided by like 256, 512 or 1024. And we will do this. So press one left click and we will divide by 1024 like that. And then let's continue with another multiplier node that goes into this node. And then we want to make some reflections and refraction into the eyes. So this looks normal at first. And now we need a custom reflection vector. And this goes into a mask node. And you need the component mask from math. And the right and green channel is right. And this goes into the B and plug this into the mask. And now we need a normal map from earlier and we plug this RGB channel into the normal. And it currently looks like this. Not much is happening, but it looks already nice. And now we need to transform the world space to tangent space. So we get a nice like parallax effect. And for that, we need a transform vector like this. And then we go from world space to tangent space and plug that in. And now we need a camera vector. Okay, and now the multiply here is empty. So we need to do something. So let's get a divide node. And we need the B value too from the mask. So let's go out and only check the blue value. And we get it from the reflection vector too. And now right click and this will go into an absolute value. Like that. And into B. So the mask gets converted to a value into the divide. And then we plug this into this multiply node. And the last thing you want to do is grab your texture sample again and multiply this by a high number. So let's say we go with 60 and then you grab the red channel. This goes into the A multiplied by 60 and this goes into the divide. Okay, nice. And we are actually finished. So if this number is higher, you will get a stronger like refraction effect but I think this is actually fine and you can see this normal map we got earlier too. I will make this a little bit bigger. Yeah you see the parts of the normal map looks a bit cracked and the dark parts from your texture will look deeper and the white parts will look like they're at the surface of the ice and the ice gets some deepness. Now you actually see it looks translucent and not like before, like some metal or something, but more like frozen water. And it's pretty nice, yeah. 
And as I mentioned earlier, you can go to your ice material, scroll down, enable the flat tessellation, and then plug your displacement into the world displacement with a little setup. You can watch a video on that at the info card, but I will not do that right now. You can do it if you want. Yeah, you can create some really nice frozen lakes with it or frozen waterfalls with displacement how you like it. Okay, so I hope you liked this video. If yes, please leave a thumbs up. If no, leave a thumbs down. I'll see you next time and bye.